What's up guys and girls? I hope you are having a very pleasant evening. Um, I am here showcasing a tactic I found for expertly grinding aircraft tech trees. Expertly. You'll get plenty of aircraft within days. You'll start seeing change. It's just great. It's a, it's a door that needs exploring. Um... As I just said, this is a tactic for grinding aircraft. If you're a tank player, leave the video now because this is of in no use to you. This is not going to benefit you. This doing this tactic will not give you silver lines, will not get you RP, will not. So, you know, just I just leave the video. And if you if you still if you came on here, even if you came on here in the first place to the video that says it clearly says new aircraft grinding tactic tech tree and you're trying to figure out ways to grind tanks then I'm praying for you buddy I really am but aside from that um yeah I'm gonna share I'm gonna share this uh, tactic with you and uh, hopefully that you benefit it from it as I have because I have benefited greatly from this and um, I hope you do too and uh, yeah let's get into the video Hello! I am happy to see that you, uh, stayed from that horrible intro. Um, alright, so let's get right into it. So right here, I have gone to Simulator Battles. So you choose Simulator Battles, um, in your drop-down menu where it says Arcade, re Realistic, um, you choose Simulator Battles, and you go into there, and you should see a list of, uh, sessions and you want to look for the, the the two maps are on the, the, it should say in the parentheses enduring confrontation and it should be on Ruhr or Sicily all right and if you can't find one that's already made then you go here you click create a session and you can choose Sicily or Ruhr it's really personal preference um, I prefer Sicily honestly that's my preference but we're they're basically the same very minor differences just green or tan you know whatever so you create a session but if there's one already open you want to go there click take part you know, and then you're joining it it's that simple just go into simulator battles look at sessions i suggest going into filters and it should say by region and it should be yours is probably whatever country in your it's just going to be us or just europe or just russia um you want to click you want to go in there and um, and you want to pr select every single region just to have them all because the only it, it shouldn't really affect server connectivity that bad but um, yeah and it will get you into the game quicker um, so for this strategy what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a big strategic powerful fat bomber all right so this what we're doing is using bombers to grind RP in air simulator battles for unlocking fighters because let's face it everybody wants fighter jets and everyone wants fighter bombers and attackers and fancy flying like that nobody wants to mess with the bombers but you do have to get the bombers to do this tactic so get a good bomber I already grinded American tree doing this so now I'm started German tree and of course one of the big German bombers that everybody knows about is the uh, ME264, the America bomber. And that's what I'm going to be using in this clip of me playing in the simulator battle. Um, Alright, so let's get into it. Um, I watched the video a while, uh, uh, two weeks back, I think it was, and it was talking about how to grind RP and silver lines super easily by going into simulator battles, using a bomber, and bombing the airfields. Now, there's, I watched a video, and it was somewhat of a success, it turned me down, it basically, that video pointed me down the right road, but I had to figure out everything for myself, because that, this video, it was very, very vague, and it's like, oh, just go bomb the airways, just go bomb the airfields and the runways, oh, it's that easy, just, it's, it's really not that simple, so I had to figure this out, it took me two weeks to figure it out, yet in, in, in that in this one set of like five days uh, I'd probably say I was playing for about four hours a day so I mean it's it's still a lot uh, 20 hours 20 hours in total um, but 
I went from my best plane being 4.0 P61 Black Widow to being to having the F all researching researched all three F86 Sabres the A3D1 the B57B and now I'm researching the F100 Super Sabre so yeah it works trust me take it from me it works now German Germany I've been playing with a little bit as you see this is me in the ME264 Germany stuff um, I, I played another two hour game before this with it and I only got about um, 21,000 RP which really isn't that good you might and and there you go I just I just kind of blew the lid even before I meant to but it's that's not that good but basically what you do is you go attack airfields or bases and you when, when you attack them you get RP then depending on your bomber it depends now a lot of you now in this video he said just J out which is just basically kill yourself and then you can respawn in the bomber and it cuts your travel time in half well there's two problems with that now this method is great but there but there's a fatal flaw with this for researching for getting RP for for acquiring RP this method is beautiful beautiful you will get so much RP from one game with the American B29 I got a hundred and eighty thousand RP so yeah this method works but for silver lions I only got two hundred thousand silver lions for that game and you might think well two hundred thousand is a lot for one game well think about it if you get 2,000 RP in a game of Air Arcade and then you get 15,000 Silver Lions that's not a good ratio like that ratio is what like one it's it's really low that's a bad almost negative ratio 180 200 that's very little I should get um, 15 Silver Lions per every RP yet I'm only getting like 0.5 Silver Lions per every RP less than that so not good for silver lines. Actually, some bombers will actually make will, you lose silver lines, but um, excluding those bad silver lines. Um, but when you J out, you have to pay for that bomber again in silver lines. So if you look here when I go into the menu, you'll see the silver lines cost for each of those planes. So every time you J out, you're gonna have to pay for that bomber again. Some are more expensive than others. Some are 1,000 and others are 21,000. So you just gotta be careful about that. Another problem that plagues the idea of just jaying out is um, a, a, actually a really complex and interesting one is cooldowns. Now some bombers have cooldowns and some don't. And you're thinking, well, how do you tell? Well, it's it's actually all bombers have cooldowns and no bombers have cooldowns. So the bombers that have cooldowns. You, some bombers will and some bombers won't at the time, but they all do at some point because how the game assigns cooldowns is by your best ranking vehicle, your best ranking bomber, or ranking vehicle, period. So, in this gameplay, you'll see when I do die eventually, I try to land because this in this particular bomber, I, I personally, I don't J out because it actually does make me go broke, so I do fly back to the runway, the airfield, land, take off, and etc, etc. But you will see that there's a five minute cooldown, which sucks, like that really sucks. Um, and, um, but the reason I'm getting a five minute cooldown is because this is my highest ranking aircraft that I own at the time. At the time of me recording this, this is the best aircraft that I had. It was, uh, this is rank three. And I do have other planes. I have the BF-109 G2, I have the Falk Wolf 190A5. All those are, are good. They're high battery rating, but they're still rank 3. So since every single plane I have in the entire German tech tree is rank 3 or lower, then I'm going to have a cooldown and a spawn point requirement. So you notice if you look there, it says there's a, I need 130 spawn points. Well, when you're using a vehicle of your highest rank, in my case rank 3 you're gonna have a cooldown 
requirement, and it could be longer or shorter. And you're going to have a spawn point requirement, so you're going to need to get a certain amount of spawn points. Luckily for the ME264, it's only 130, so you actually spawn when you first start the game. Like log it, load in the game, you already start with 180, so you 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 basically don't need it. But still, there's it's still there. So if you like spawn with a fighter and instantly get killed, you're probably not going to have enough. Um, but if it's if per se I had the ME410. Um, that's a rank 4, 5.7, or 4.7, so it's still able to get in the simulator match, because the simulator BR cap is either 3, is 3.7 through 4.7, so you have to have a vehicle that's either 3.7 to 4.7, somewhere in between that. So if I put the ME410 in my, in my, uh, loadout, in my lineup, then I would no longer have a cooldown for my ME264, and I would no longer have spawn point requirement. Because I'd have a vehicle of rank 4, which would instantly make this vehicle, in, in, in the game's recognition, obsolete. And since I have an obsolete vehicle, why would they need to put a spawn point requirement on it and a cooldown? Like, oh, that's stupid. So that's your idea. So, um, mm -hmm. it's really important when you're doing this tactic, because even if you're not going to J out, which I do suggest, if you have, if you do not need silver lines at all, like that you can waste silver lines, you have like 3 million, and all you need is RP, then I do suggest Jing out. Unless, of course, you have to, uh, un unfortunately, you, know, you don't have a vehicle of a higher rank that's still a BR that's within the BR cap of the round. Um, but, um, yeah, so I... I suggest that if you're, especially if you're gonna J out, like it, it's important unless you want to wait five minutes after every bombing run. Um, that if that you get a vehicle of the next rank that's in the same BR level, that'll greatly help you out. Um, very important. All right, now next subject. Um, when you're playing this game, everyone always asked simple, the most simple question. Simple, simple question. What do you bomb? Now, there's there's three different things you can bomb and four different effective ways to get RP in this in this method. Now, the, the number one most obvious is bomb the actual base targets, like the, the, the red circles with the crosshairs. And um, it's pretty good. I'm not saying it's bad. It's really easy. There's no fight back of course unless there's enemy fighters in the area well I can't help you there um but for the most part there's no a there's no any aircraft there's no I mean there is but it's never gonna it never hits you it's a god awful aim so you're you're basically fine from base bases won't hurt you so and they're like about in the middle of the map so you won't have to fly the entire map you only have to fly about like halfway there compared to airfields so they're pretty good but it, of course, depending on your rank, but we're going to use this gameplay, for example, uh, rank 3 aircraft, you, um, it takes about, like, I think in rank 3, it takes about, uh, 2,000 pounds of bombs to completely destroy a base, so within a, if you're using ME264 with 4,000 pounds of bombs, and you go over to a base, and you drop all your bombs, 4,000 pounds of it, you kill the base, you get the XP. Well, you're not getting your full amount. You're not getting that big chunk of, you know, you're not getting your bang. For, you're, you're not bang for your bang for your buck, right? So your bang is big. It's 4,000. It's you could kill two bases, yet you're dropping way too much, wasting it. So you're getting half of what you should be getting. So then the other, ch then, then another choice is to go for ground AI, which definitely I, I don't do it with a strategic bomber like a big me 264 or b29 that's way too hard I mean I you can barely see him from 1,000 feet never mind 10,000 feet um, uh, you can oh I see a lot of people go in there with attackers like the p47 the uh, uh, what is it p60 p61 the p63 you know a lot of people go in ground pounding and I'm not saying that's bad I'm just saying yeah, it's pretty risky. It's pretty hard. It's tough, and it's a not no. It's not a, a zombie gameplay. It's, this is. Um. 
then you're not your your third choice is to go for a go for the caps and you're not actually killing ground you're just going in there to f pick fights with enemy fighters and you might think oh that's stupid why use a bomber to fight well in SB as hard as it may seem to fly aircraft in, in SB it is hard to fly aircraft in SB it will it's totally di it is different than RB and AB it, if you're an AB player an RB player you will be surprised but bombers are so easy to fly in this game with one exception B29 I don't like it don't bully me it just for me I have a hard time flying it but every other bomber for me just kind of, it literally takes off by itself so everybody else and their fighters are gonna have a hard time they're like oh pull back and then they overshoot and then they they're like oh I gotta pull back and then they overshoot so these fighters are having such a hard time flying when you're flying there and sitting there in a straight line and then a lot of people will hate this about SB is you're, un you're, you're not able to go in a first person. Well, bombers with turrets, you do get to go in a first person, or third person. You get to stick in third person and just chill in the gunner view. So, that's so overpowered. So, if an enemy fighter rolls up on you and they're having a hard time seesawing back and forth, you just turn around and get your gunners on them and just laser them out of the sky and getting fighter kills is worth like 800 points, which is a lot. Cause like from one bombing run you get like 600 points so it's really good a little, uh, it is harder though you know you will get shot down a few times but you know it, it works now um so now the last one which is the big big one that i usually attempt to do is airfield bombing airfield bombing is tricky because you can't just roll up on the airfield and drop your payload and get points it's not that simple you can't just it's not like the base where it's like all right there's buildings just bomb just bomb the shit out of the buildings no 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 no. you can't do that you gotta actually pick your targets you gotta be specific about where you're dropping it you just gotta be pay attention you know realize what you're doing so with the airfield how do you bomb an airfield well that's an interesting question um airfields are worth a lot now right off the bat one thing I suggest not to do with a strategic high altitude bomber such as the ME264, B29, B17, uh, P8, etc. is coming low. The AA, anti-aircraft, at an airfield will murder you. Mur it's dead on, it's really accurate. They will kill you in a matter of seconds before you even get within bomb range. Don't try it. Trust me, you will get shot down, and you will definitely learn your lesson. Hopefully. Um. So, the lucky number, your lucky number, when you're in a big strap bomber and you're bombing airfields, it's gonna be 10,000 feet. Now I don't know what you use for your measurements. If you use measure meters or kilometers or whatever, but I'm sure just look it up on your computer, phone, or whatever, and just. 10,000 feet in kilometers or meters or whatever whatever you're using but 10,000 feet uh, and and plus 10,000 feet of course and above that so 10,000 11,000 12,000 everything 10,000 above you're invincible from flak the flak guns will not even shoot you they don't even spot you so if you're flying over an airfield you have to climb to 10,000 feet now you don't have to you can stay at around 5,000 feet and you might be able to get your bombs dropped off because about 5,000 feet the AA isn't going to murder you instantly but in the, if you are at 5,000 feet you just got to understand if the flak's hitting you you will die like if you're flying over the base and the flak's able to hit you well then you're screwed you're not going to make it past the other to the other side of the base they will shoot you down eventually you might be able to get your payload off but if you're trying to return to base well it's kind of hard when your left wing's gone so I'd say climb as soon as you take off from from your airfield. Climb. All right, climb to about uh, 10,000 feet, and then you should be within bombing distance. You know, slowly climb over your runway and release those bombs. Now, one thing I have learned is a quick shortcut. I don't know. Of course, your key bindings probably different um, than mine. But I think it's it, it is I'm pretty sure it's the default key. I'm pretty sure everyone should unless you deliberately changed it. And if you deliberately changed it, then you already know what I'm about to say. With um, Z, 
it's it's the Z key on your keyboard it should zoom in your aircraft a lot so when you're high altitude bombing and you're at 10,000 feet and you're trying to crane your eyes don't worry man all you're gonna do is line up your aircraft with your target go into the site line it up and then click C and it zooms in a lot so that's really helped that that really helps with zooming in getting specifics on your target so just that's a quick tip now when you're bombing an airfield and you'll notice throughout this gameplay I constantly check my map you, with sim battles you get nothing like you, it doesn't show you friendly players it doesn't show you enemy players it only shows you friendlies if they're within 0.50 miles or less so yeah you, you, you get nothing so I, you have to really constantly rely on your map and your intel on what you're doing where to go and how to do it so if you look at the map um, you should see it, it, friendly airstrips and enemy airstrips now friendly airstrips are blue strips with green boxes and enemy airstrips are red strips with green box I'm pretty I'm, I think it's pretty um I think it's pretty intuitive um the red is bad blue is good um or of course you might have changed your colors but whatever um um but seriously though so if you're bombing if you're flying over an airfield and and you and you're right over the airfield and you look on your mini map and you drop your bombs and you don't get any points you did spot on exactly what I'm, I will tell you in a minute what I will tell you on how to bomb the airfields and but and you do it spot on exactly how I told you how to bomb it and you destroyed it and blah 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 and you didn't get any points well look at your mini map press M and you'll notice that right now you're flying over nothing there's no airfield where you're bombing. That's just a fake airfield. There's plenty of them around Sicily, Ruhr, any map. There's going to be airfields on there that aren't actually either friendly or enemy. They're they're neutral. They're they're no man's land. Nobody owns them. So you dropping bombs totally wasting because there's no one there. There's nothing to hit. There's no point to hit it. So make sure you're flying over the base. Now those four little boxes are actually hit points. They're they're hit boxes basically. So there's four different parts in airfield. There's the fuel dump slash oil gallery you know whatever you want to call it then there's the hangars so like airplane storage ammunition storage etc then there is the camps the troop house or the, the pilot housing um, staff housing uh, and then the one on the bottom left is an interesting one because that hitbox is relative to the runway so in three hitboxes the hitboxes are where you want to hit. So top right, if you drop hang, if you drop bombs at the top right of the runway, you will affect the top right box. If you drop bombs at the bottom right box and you hit it, it will affect the color of the bottom right box. Except for the bottom left one, that's the one odd man out. You do not drop bombs bottom left. You drop them on the runway. And if you're gonna, if you're trying to, and I and I suggest. Do not go for the runway until all of all three other parts are destroyed because it's very annoying it's very tiresome to go for runway because constantly the runway doesn't register hits or doesn't count because there's like a special little hitbox they have to perfectly hit it's like right in the middle it's a little bit past half like it's a little bit above half of the runway it's a little bit set back from half and if you hit that, then you get points, but most times you don't. So just just trust me and just kind of forget about the runway for now. It's just annoying, and it doesn't give you any more points than the other parts do. So just go for the other parts because they're secure points. You will get points for bombing them every time. So just go for the other parts. Now, it, it so what you do is you look on the runway, and you should or when you're flying over it at 10,000 feet, and you click Z, so you get a really good view. You look at the, for the fuel dump, which is a little square. It's really tiny. It's this little bottom. It, it, it's at the bottom right. It's the bottom right green box. It should be like there should be four. There are three little towers with some specks of round blackness in there. And you drop your bombs right in the middle, and that's fuel dump. Now, if you drop your entire load, depending on what that is, but if you're in any rank, if you're in any bomber of the rank that you're playing in, so if you're playing in a three in a in a 4.0 bomber uh, if you're playing in a 4.0 SB game 
and your bomber's 4.0, then yeah, then then yeah, you'll, your your bomber qualifies. Unless you're using like even stock bombers still have enough bombs to affect to to damage the airfields at at that battle rating. Unless you're like using a 1.0, then yes, you're not going to change the color. You're not going to affect it. But if you're using a correct bomber for the time, then you'll do great. Um, so you drop your bombs, and you'll notice that green little square changes colors. It goes to yellow. All right. So now, so now it's yellow. So now you go back to base. You get, you get, you know, you got your points to take off. You go back again, 10,000 feet, Z to zoom in. You zoom in. You look at it. Drop the bombs in the same spot. I know it's kind of weird because it looks like everything's destroyed, but just trust me. You drop them in the same spot you just did before. And then you'll see it turns to red. All right, so now you, you can see you're actively affecting the airfield. You're actually damaging their airfield. And in, in doing this, it slows their repair time. So when, it, if, when, one, when one of them, the enemy, lands on that airfield that you bombed, instead of taking 1 minute and 30 seconds to refuel, repair, and rearm, it's going to take 2 minutes and 30 seconds because of what you did. Then if you go back a third time and you drop the bombs, come to 10,000 feet, click Z, zoom in, and it's red, and you drop the bombs again, it's going to just completely destroy that module. It's going to be no more points can be earned if you drop any more bombs. It's going to be black. That little green box, box went from yellow to red to black. And now that's black, it's gone, it's destroyed. It will get repaired, it will come back to red, and then after a while, we'll go back to yellow, and then after a really long time, it will go after green. So you can't just totally forget about it. When you go start bombing the other modules, you'll notice that eventually that little black box in the very beginning that you killed, that little fuel dump, or the, the hangars, or the tents, they're all the same. It's going to eventually come back, and you will have to bomb it. Um, if you're trying to kill an airfield completely, get all four boxes black, you can't do it by yourself. You just can't. It repairs quicker than you can dish out bombs. Trust me, even if you're in a B-29 with 40,000 pounds of bombs, you're still not going to be able to kill it, so you got to have teammates if you're trying to kill it. But it really doesn't matter about killing it. Just drop the bombs on the corners, and you'll do fine. Um, so, uh, I, yeah, I know it's a long video, and I just really thought that, that you all should know about this, because I didn't know about this. And it took me a while to figure out how to bomb airfields. I kept asking people, like, how do you bomb airfields? What do I aim for? And, and all that stuff. And But I, I, I hope that you you learn some of this from this video and it helps you. And, um, yeah, you just benefit from this like I did. Because I, I benefited from this. I got so, so many uh, new aircraft. And it was, it was pretty good. So I just hope. And I don't think I missed anything. Um, yeah, just just try and I, and I suggest if you're gonna do this for a while like if you're gonna do this all day Like just play SB for an entire day. I'd recommend getting um, Premium account like just it's like 190 golden eagles So I think that's like literally three dollars and you can spend the entire day Just grinding on SB like 24 hours of just playing the same game mode And it gets a little boring, but all you have to do is just set up a you know your phone and have a movie playing or something 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 like that and um, you'll get twice you'll get twice the RP so if you get 20,000 RP from doing this then you get 40,000 RP for a two-hour game so that's not bad it's not the best but it's not bad so I think you get the gist of what's going on I hope it works for you I hope that um, you benefit from it and um, well uh, uh, happy happy hunting see ya